A dire warning from Louisville's animal shelter tonight. It's so full it's placing dogs in hallways to make space. WDRB's Gilbert Corsi found the problem has gotten so bad it may not be a no kill, no -kill shelter much longer. <laughs> Daisy was all smiles for the camera. As the dog and her new owner, Addison Wallace, She's became fast friends Friday afternoon. We had viewed one dog before her that we thought we were really going to pick, and then they brought her out to us, and it was like immediate. I mean, ah. Every little bit helps with Louisville Metro Animal Services at max capacity, currently caring for 560 animals. Thank you, Brutus. You're a good helper. The pets are stacked both here at the adoption center and the main shelter down the street. Leaders say early Friday they were down to three available kennels after taking in more than 300 strays in the last two weeks. We are just busting at the seams with dogs and cats. This weekend, LMAS will host a Best Friends event, waiving adoption or reunification fees to help make space. Leaders have a clear message. Come pick up your pets, adopt or foster if you can, if not. When we do get this full, it does get extremely scary for us and the animals that we have. This no-kill agency may be no-kill, no more. So when we are at max capacity, the animals that we are working with for behavior issues or medical issues, those are the ones that are going to be the first that are going to have to leave us um, and be euthanized just because of space. There's a lot of dogs and so it was really upsetting. LMAS was the source of much contention at the start of the Fisher administration due in part to its high kill rate near 60 percent. But it turned around and leaders say it has not euthanized a dog or cat for space since 2017. The shelter boasted a 97 percent live release rate on some 7,000 animals in the latest agency report. Leaders say the only pets put down now are for illness or temperament. I think really what it is is still the aftermath of COVID because majority of the time when we do have people needing to surrender pets, it's for financial reasons. Doggy Daisy was dropped off in the parking lot. She's just so cute and sweet. I'm, just, I'm so excited to bring my dog home. <laughs> a happy ending after a rough chapter. And everyone here hopes for a few more. With photographer Joshua Horton, Gilbert Corsi, WDRB News. Chip and vaccination services are included in the free adoption along with a bag of food. Jefferson County residents will pay $10 for a license. You'll find locations and hours for the shelter and adoption center on our website, WDRB.com.